The late great Liza Minnelli. Wow, I bet that was a bit different for you she's, guys. Than she's, usual. Up in, she's up in heaven, just like <laughs> just kicking. Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> Liza. Yeah. If you don't know, I have an obsession with Liza Minnelli. Yes. I love her. Wonderful. So Anyhoosie. today, I hope you enjoyed the different intro. Today we are doing a do some fun. Kind of like a fall haul again, but this time it is stuff that we have purchased. <laughs> For ourselves, this for job is fall. personal. Yes. <laughs> so the things that we pick out for fall that are for ourselves don't necessarily relate to the trends. I don't think any. Well, I have a couple things. No, I have two. Obviously, spoiler alert: we have flannel because it's fall. Yeah, I have flannels. <laughs> I have some jeans that might apply, and then I have some oversized blazers that could apply to the trends. But besides, oh, you have dogs. Okay, so maybe oh. there's a few. If we do show stuff that applies, we'll say. <laughs> we'll mention but it. we want to show you guys what we purchased this year. I'm so for, excited. For Ugh. the fall season. I'm sure you've been seeing tons of stuff I've been wearing that has been <laughs> fall related. So we, I guess, are going to run this kind of like a haul. And I'm going to save the mystery mosquito dust bags for the end. So you definitely are going to want to watch the whole thing so you can see the <gasps> so cool mosquito oh, things that I bought myself. I rare. definitely, they're hard to find, definitely have splurged this fall. They were expensive. So has Ryan. <gasps> you know, Yes. We have been splurging. But I feel like fall fashion, everybody kind of splurges a little bit. So. Okay, but like, so here... And especially if you're a Halloween super fan, like, you have to let me splurge. I'm not even, like, the biggest Halloween fan. Don't get me wrong. I love it. It's one of my favorite holidays ever. But my thing is, is I'm like, I live in the Midwest, and I'm moving to somewhere colder. So if you don't know, we live in Iowa. We're moving to Minnesota after I graduate teaching, da-da-da-da. But, like, I can wear all these things... When it's winter in yeah, Minnesota. Like yeah, like when it's winter there. So I'm like, oh, you know, this something something that I buy in Iowa for X Will day. apply when you move. Yeah, I'm like, I can wear it for years and years and years. So I am going to start it off. Oh, one, 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 one more thing before we jump in. So tomorrow we are having a video go up on the second channel, which, so like I always say, is linked below. It's the first link. And that is going to be a tour slash show off slash haul of our fall decor slash Halloween decor collection that we have around the house. It's our home stuff. I have not, <laughs> if I have not beat it into your head enough, I am a huge Halloween fan. We are a Halloween household. To say that I'm a super fan of Halloween is an understatement. I the love Halloween, Halloween so much. And so I have so much to show you guys and I'm so excited. Someone suggested that we do a Halloween decor slash fall decor show off well, I, I don't know what to call it and it's gonna happen tomorrow it's so like go this, there just, but instead of clothing it's things it's our little halloween yes. decor and i get tons new every year so i cannot wait to show you guys we really do anyways let's jump into the clothes that we purchased for ourselves for fall of 2020. Oh, i'm looking at the pile next to me and i'm just like giddy <laughs> do you ever do that look at your own possessions for and these like, yes <laughs> okay actually so first off i bought this today if you did not know this week which 
now has two days left in it. Today's the 23rd <laughs> of September. Um, Target has 20% off of all clothing for men and women's. This is actually a women's t-shirt, but I purchased it because look at this thing. The pumpkins are it's so cute. It's so cute. It's just like, so cute. it was $8 with 20% off. Like that is like thrift store prices. So also, I purchased that. The graphic tees are so included soft. in this. I'm not gonna lie when I say they have some of the softest t-shirts. It's very true. And they're they so inexpensive. Like yeah. I'm somebody who unfortunately has spent upwards of like $50, $60 on a graphic t-shirt. And like the Target ones are the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're so comfortable. They're so soft. They're such cute designs. Go take advantage so of that. So they have a whole collection of like Halloween stuff they just put out and I purchased this pumpkin t-shirt. This is the only one that's not like a cropped length so it can fit me. There's like- <laughs> Over there's, six foot men. There's you like, can't wear yeah, There's like a bat print t-shirt that I really oh, I wanted. That one. There's that one that's really like cute. a vampire like kiss lips, almost like- Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, but it's like vampire, favorites? really cute. But those are cropped. So if you want, go pick those up. I totally recommend them. So soft, so cute. Love this t-shirt. And it's such a soft, nice, like sleep in t-shirt. Yes. A okay. Nice, okay. Enough so, talking about Target. We I all know. know it's amazing. Next up <laughs> is this. It is BDG by Urban Outfitters. Ryan gave me this this year, actually. And you've probably it's seen so this cute. in a few videos. Really cute. He's got stars and moon behind him, which is also like symbols that I like. So I love that. And I love that like stonewashed gray color. So do I. It looks, That's, I think it looks good. That is me. one of my like go-to t-shirt requirements is like, does it look well-worn? Yeah, after watching this, if you're like, oh, Jack, what about that one skull skeleton t-shirt that says till death on it? That is from a different year, but that is also one of my favorite You've Halloween t-shirts, but that's years. that's like three years old, so it's not gonna be in this That fall. was a good will this find is all new that has stuck around. So this, <laughs> it might look a little dirty with pug hairs. That's because it was actually in the laundry. I just wanted to show it off. That's fine. Um, this is from Marshalls. And it is this cute yes. skeleton and butterfly shirt. Again, I love butterflies so and flowers at the same time. I love this skeleton. I love too. skeletons. I love the like so, the line work in it. Eight dollars also. So this is another one that obviously has some spots because it was in the laundry. I just had to show you. <laughs> Debbie, my mother, purchased this for me this year, and it is I an Debbie. Adidas logo T-shirt. Which, <laughs> if you don't know me, Adidas Originals logo. I wear it all the time and it's a ghost. So it's so perfect. So this is like so me. She was so excited to get it for me and I was so excited to get it. So it's super, little, super cute. I like his little face. His little smiley face. I know. And then this, I just bought these today actually. These are a pair of Levi's 511s. <sighs> love them. Have we not talked about Levi's enough? I won't say anything about the brand, <laughs> but I love this wash. I love these jeans and they're like a slim straight, which is such a like nice fit for me, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And I just think they're super cute. And I love having a big old Levi's patch on my waist. You love so. them. They're so comfortable. Perfect. And I feel like for taller people, a slim straight does really well. Yeah. I'm gonna start with shoes and accessories. Also, yes, it is what, nine o'clock at night and I'm having coffee. <sighs> oh, okay, if you don't know me, I love, my favorite four categories of clothing are t-shirts, backpacks, boots and shoes, jeans. So we will get to the backpacks and the boots and the shoes. So my first bag comes in this fun little dust bag. So I'm not like a huge designer person. I know Jack is, as if he's not right next to me. Um, but I like weird things. And Rath Simmons, or Rath Simon, Rath Simon, if you are from Deutschland, as you would say, is one of my all time favorite designers. And these came out, I wanna say 2015, 2016, don't quote me. It is the punk, cross bag. So you wear it like this. I have wanted one of these since I saw them on the runway. They were so expensive retail. And shockingly, I found this one at a Plato's closet. So yes, I still paid up for it. I think it was $80. Oh, what you But I'm up? like, yeah, that's these, not these bad. retail for like three, 400 bucks. Yeah. I love it. I love, this image is really iconic. It's like the 80s punk movement. It's insane. I won't get into that. I just love it. Next bag. Look how cute this is. It's so tiny. It is Moschino, which if you don't know, is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite designers. Jeremy Scott is an <laughs> iconic, iconic, iconic designer. He's amazing. He's so If you don't know that so this good. is a Moschino household, as if it's not on my chest, like nine out of 10 videos. I was gonna say, this is the Jeremy Scott household. You oh, absolutely. Um, it is I, my favorite clothing brand. He, I think my big attraction to him is, it fits into my motto of like, it's expensive and tacky, which I absolutely love. It's high fashion. 
which we love. Okay, so anyway, cute little quilted nylon backpack. I absolutely love this. The studs are amazing, and the quilted kind of gives me like a Chanel vibe, but like I didn't pay Chanel money for this. Uh, and it's funny. I have my little monogram little. We're just checking on it. It's funny because this item has something to do with one of mine coming up. I will tell you that when we get to that. So shoes, I have three pairs of shoes. The first being this pair of, again, Jeremy Scott Moschino, Adidas Monster Flats. They're so fun. I love them. They are a little bit of a platform and they are kind of a pointed toe. So I can only really wear them to like certain occasions, but like certain occasions for me is every day. I love them. I like the pointed toe. But like, they're so fun. These little monsters on them, yeah. They go with everything, and especially as... That is very, like, Ryan. <laughs> especially thing. as an art teacher, you gotta have, yeah. like, the fun, kooky, crazy, very like, Ryan. weird stuff. Okay, so other very Ryan. I wanted these for decades, literally, since I was in high school, which is probably about five or six years ago now. Um, they are UNIF, if like, you can't tell. I now. think we mentioned UNIF in the 10 brands for fall. It's, it's like Ryan's It favorite. is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands of all time. I've loved them since I was in about eighth grade when I got a computer. Um, these are called the Hellraiser Flats, mimicking, um, I don't know what movie he's from. Hellraiser? That's oh, the movie. Is that the name of the movie? With the guy with the needle sticking out of his face? Yeah. They are a full spiked black leather flat. And yes, I have put a ton of wear on them since I've had them. They are amazing. And they are so comfortable. They are so shockingly comfortable for a shoe that is just, you know, pure spikes. It's Love them. It's interesting because like Unif is not like a runway or like super high end brand, but the leather on this is so nice. They're such and good the quality. The studs are so heavy. Like, like this feels like a really expensive. They shoe. probably weigh about a pound and a half. Yes, yeah, not gonna lie. Heavy. But like, I love them. They're so amazing. Okay, so another pair of shoes that I have dreamed of since I was a child. The Doc Martin. This is G attached to a fall trend. Yes, they are because Docs are very in. The Doc Martin Jaden. PVC platform. So I remember when I was a kid, all my friends had Brad stalls. And all the Brad stalls had those like massive shoes. Same with the Spice Girls. And I was like, oh, I want a pair of those shoes. Not until recently have I started to manifest that destiny. And I bought these. They are amazing. They're the Burgundy PVC. Jaden double platform boots. They do have a fun little shrinky dink. A friend made me on them. So they're like, Adorable. They're actually really comfortable. They took a little minute to break in. But like, oh, I love them. Next up for me. <laughs> that took too long. A friend made for me, and I'm just kidding. Ryan actually made this for me. And it I love is these. this Levi's flannel, and it says flannels for fall groundbreaking <laughs> so ryan wanted to print on flannels and he could not think of like what to put on it because he didn't want to just do like posher or like yeah fall or whatever i just think that i saturated. thought of this adorable like instagram caption of flannels for fall groundbreaking kind of like from the devil wears prada and they're all straight she goes florals for spring and so he made these he made a couple and obviously i required one because yes i love it and that's so, like a tax yeah i just made an instagram post with this on today it's so soft and it's so cute. so cute and i've had people staring at me at target when i have it on i'm like they yes, will, read they the back are of my shirt Do a that. labor of love i will say Next, I have also put these on Instagram a handful of times. Yeah, another pair of booties. I wanted to get some kind of either ASOS like knockoff or imitation of either Saint Laurent booties mm -hmm. or um, Calvin, Klein. Calvin Klein 205 West 39 North NYC. West. The, West the, the, the expensive NYC. Calvin Klein, whatever. This is a Saint Laurent kind of like imitation or knockoff, even though obviously a lot of brands have done this look. But I think Saint Laurent, and they are by ASOS. I got these on Posh for like 25 or they 20 bucks. They were really bucks. cheap. They were really They expensive. look huge. Like huge because of the pointed toes so, like my foot only honestly goes up to like here but that's because it won't fit any farther but they're are... so freaking cute i've they never really in cute. my life owned a pair of boots and now i'm like okay i I'm... like them <laughs> so next up is like another trend so i once again this i've done an instagram cute. picture in this maybe in this video i'll edit in some of the pictures that we've done in some of these yeah. items but this it's is a idea. Super oversized on me blazer that I bought at the bins. I just saw the micro plaid and I, I thought, this say, is so is this cute. It's actually micro houndstooth. Yeah, I was going to say, it's houndstooth. 
Interesting. So, okay. anyway. um, but it fits me so big, but in such a Balenciaga way. Oh. Not in a bad way. It's so cute. Love it. And it's so like blogger. So I love this thing. It has like I don't know what brand. It doesn't matter. Paul Rodin. I Paul don't know. Rodin. And it's made in China, so it's probably not an expensive blazer, but like it's just all style. It's That's a all good I look. And I then say. I just bought this one this week. So this is it's also so super cute. oversized on me. And this. It, this is like a herringbone pattern. Yeah. It's not micro plaid. So this one is like long on me. It goes to like mid thigh and it's also oversized. And I love this like extra pocket detail. Wait, what's this for? They're, what you, they're what actually real this, What are you too. putting in this pocket? And so this one was also from the bins. I was hmm. super drawn to it because it is super high quality wool. And again, I'm just gonna wear it kind of in the whole like style kind of like bloggery look. It's reason, not like I'm gonna like actually go to some event in it. But okay. I have one more. Oh, sorry. You're not done. And next up <laughs> is this Zadig and Voltaire, which we've mentioned the brand multiple times. Love, I think love, love. They, mm, Zadig and Voltaire. No, they were not in 10 brands, but they've definitely been on a bolo. So mm -hmm. Zadig and Voltaire uses skulls all the time, so it is a fall bolo, but also it's a bolo for anything. It's very this expensive. This is a adorable, like, astronomy. It's like a celestial, celestial. hoodie almost. Yes. It's very scientific hoodie. in the front. Sweatshirt. Oh, hoodie. what does it say around the sleeve? It says is it like a coordinate. It says something about like dancing and singing. It says, "Let us read and let us dance. These two amusements will never do any harm to the world." Love to hear it. Oh, we yeah. got these. Ryan, fun fact: Ryan has one too. I love it. I bought this at the outlet of Zadig and Voltaire in Chicago when we went like a month ago mm -hmm. for I don't know, like a really good deal. They were still paid up a little. I was obviously say, it's the Dick Voltaire brand new with tag. It's probably a three hundred and fifty dollar retail crew net. And I think we got it for like eighty or ninety. They were, yeah, I think they were eighty five dollars. But it was so worth it. It is so comfortable. It's so cute. The <laughs> I've worn it once so far, but I'm oh, I wear my I wear my. I'm gonna thing. wear it a ton more when it gets cooler. And I already got like multiple people saying like I love that, and I'm like, <laughs> my favorite too. thing <laughs> is that the planets are embroidered. Yes. Which, oh, love attention to detail. Zodiac is wonderful. Okay, so now we move on to the clothing. I have one pair of jeans because luckily all of my jeans from last year fit me. And I only ever wear like four pairs of pants and they're all just different colors of Levi's 501s. <laughs> love them. Okay, so my first pair was shockingly a TJ. No, this was a Marshall's find. They were $3. $3. dollars is probably $200 pair of pants for three bucks. It is. <laughs> this was on the doll's kill list. Just this is Ragged Priest. So Ragged Jeans is Ragged Priest. Oh, they are amazing. So they have this big old tag on the inside. Love the pair of black, full, almost like a Janko jean. It is. If you remember oh. Janko jeans, this big old wide leg to pants. I had a pair of Jenko jeans on my wish list on Posh for a long time and they sold. I am so going, cute. I have a look for these jeans. I'm going to wear them with my Tammy Faye Baker, I ran into her at the mall t-shirt. Oh gosh. And my big old Doc Martens. So I look like a brat doll. Okay. Like a tight Obviously cake. Ryan's goal in life is to look, <laughs> so look like a brat doll. <laughs> Something happened in his past that um, triggered brat doll. <laughs> I love these jeans. They're actually so comfortable. The denim is just Very like nice. a teeny bit stretchy up at the waist. You can't really tell unless you're like wearing them. And the pockets are super big. They fit on my phones and my things. And they're just all amazing. my phones. My, like, well, okay, so I put my phone. All my one my, phone. My one phone. I put my phone in one pocket and my AirPods in the other. Next, I have a flannel. This was, I think, $10 with 40% off at the Nordstrom Rack clearance sale for like forever ago. It is a made well flannel, so it's extra, extra large. I think this might be a women's flannel, but like Maybe. flannel is a flannel. It's a flannel. I just like the pattern. I don't really own too many white and gray flannels or white and gray and anything of that matter. And I thought it was a good pickup. Okay, so Jack has the same jacket because we bought them at the same place, the Levi's store in Minnesota. I could not resist. It is so cute. It is a Levi's classic trucker jacket with the tie dye that goes all the way down to the cuff. But like, how amazing is this jacket? <laughs> it's so cute. And I love that it's not like too much tie-dye. No. Like, I feel like- It's it, just like a little extra. It's this like nice little simple detail that goes all the way down the back of the sleeve. I'm like, ooh. And the color blends in. That's too. a deal. Yes. Have I worn it yet? No. 
that's fine. We'll wear it at some point. These are Lululemon. I have a knit hat because it gets cold here in the fall and I love it. And then they gave me a nice little pair of gloves. Also from the outlet. So cute. Yeah. No, the Lululemon outlet. Life-changing. Next. Oh, yeah. I bought myself some pants there that I forgot to include in here. I love this. I got it at Nordstrom Rack. Oh, you guys have seen this. This is the neon purple thing. So it's free people. Size the large. The thing that he already put a stain on, even though he wore <gasps> one. I don't know how. <laughs> but it's okay. It is. I do not know the name of this sweater. Off the top of my head. Did that stain, did that stain come out? Boxy. Oh, it did. Good. I love it this sweater. I love my sweaters to feel like tense. It's so wide. It's amazing. But like, okay, when you put it on, it actually doesn't like look that bad. No, it didn't. Like it looks but it like looks a so... circus tent when you put it on the hanger. But then when you put it on, it's just like a cute baggy. And I cuff these up because I'm like, this is weird. I love it. Oh, I'm going to wear this the rest of the video. Okay. It's amazing. Okay. And then this was a splurge purchase. I had oh, some. Wow, she back. <laughs> I had some real, real credit and saw this pop up and I could not resist it. It is obviously H&M. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Moschino. Um, I love, if you can't tell, the print is like, I think it's supposed to be it's sweater. Like print, but I think the original collection that this came from was like car tire prints. Tire tread. So I think that might be what it is but i think of it as like the knit of like a sweater it does look like that too so hmm. but i love it it's such good quality i, I love, love the, the color, color. Yeah. it's not brown it's like a plum yes if, if um you could see such it a good color. it's so cute and it's super like <gasps> interesting yeah. when we went and bought those <laughs> tie-dye ones i found this i had been wanting one of these for quite a while because whenever we go to Minnesota, we usually go to the local Levi's shop because if you didn't know, we like Levi's. I a wear bit. a lot of denim. Anyways, I have seen these for a long, 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 long time, about six months. How long did these come out? How long it's have been, been like out, too long. Me. It's been like six months, which mm -hmm. isn't like too. It was like like pre Jenny nineteen, like right before is yes. when this stuff came out, and I wanted to buy some, but it was pretty expensive, and they just had mm -hmm. added it to the clearance section, so I snatched it. So. And this, if you can't tell by the power up, and I just noticed this yellow tab. Levi's has probably never done a yellow tab before, so. I love this. It is the Super Mario Collection Levi's. I love the tag. I, they made t-shirts. It's a little they interior made, tag. It's yeah. Super Mario on it. That's so cute. They made t-shirts. They made it. they made a bunch of things, but I wanted one of the jackets. I They still have a ton of the t-shirts, mm. and I actually... Oh, no, I do have two of those. You have the... Um, but I really Princess wanted one Peach of the jackets, Jean. and so as soon as I was in clearance, I was like... Mine. Yeah, you have one of the Princess Peach t-shirts. And t -shirts. the last one left. Yes, yes it was. Then, this, oh my gosh, talk about once again, like, Balen Balenciaga. Balenciaga. This is a, if you got a bolo <laughs> list next this to your computer bolo. and you're watching and you got your computer, you got your notebook, write this down. <laughs> Type in your phone. This is a brand called Faith Connection and it's spelled with an X. Let me spell it out. F A I T H, Faith. Mm -hmm. C O N N E X I O N, Faith Connection. And this is the hand painted graffiti utility jacket. Stunning. So we were at Saks Off Fifth, which is like the Nordstrom Rack for Saks Fifth Avenue. And this was in the clearance section. And it was priced at like $250 or something. And they had an extra half off. And let me tell you, this jacket retailed at like $1,500. She's expensive. And She's I tried it on, expensive. which was mistake number one, because as soon as it was on, I was like, I cannot leave without it. So I did buy this for like $125, but it was money well spent. I had just consigned a bunch of things from the bins, and so I literally had like $100 in cash, and I was able to buy it with consignment <laughs> bins money, and. That's the story behind Have you that. ever done that? Turned bins garbage <laughs> into something very expensive. <laughs> okay, so I think, I think I'm, I'm for this sweater, honestly. I think I'm gonna finish mine and then you can finish yours. We'll okay. just like pound out some more. So I'm sure you guys maybe actually no, I have not worn this in a video yet because if you, you can't one. tell it like washes out the camera. The camera cannot handle red or orange. So if we have red or orange clothes, we do not wear them in videos. No. This is a sweatshirt I got from Etsy. It's just like it's a so print per order. What do they call that? Like make to order? 
Yeah, like made to order, whatever. Made to order. Sweatshirt. People do that with like Amazon books mm -hmm. or whatever. And yeah, it's just super cute. Got that from Etsy along with the one that you guys have seen. I think you've seen many, this a lot. Many times. This Ooh, is like why my does this make us favorite awful? sweatshirt. It's Halloween Town University. If you've not seen the Halloween Town movies, so suggest What's them. wrong with you? <laughs> if you haven't seen Halloween Town? I ordered them in both in XL, which is like super oh. huge on me, and that's exactly how I want them to be. This is like the classic sweatshirt wash. I almost wish I had ordered the other one in classic sweatshirt instead of orange, because I just love that wash on me. I feel me. like there's something so comforting about a big gray or like just regular colored sweatshirt that you can't go wrong with, you know? This is the newest edition. She showed up today. She's been here this since this afternoon. This arrived today, and I am so in love with it. It's like my favorite thing. This is a brand new, with tags, there's a tag, Stella McCartney Sherpa Fleece Ghost Halloween Jacket. I love it. I can't get over it. If you this. didn't know, when you can sign with the Real Real, if you send them something Stella McCartney, they give you a hundred dollar gift card to Stella McCartney. Like so, the Stella McCartney website, <laughs> not like Stella McCartney. So honey, much. when I got that gift card, I ran and I grabbed this. She said. And it fits like a glove. So and cute. it is the cutest thing ever. And when you go to the page for this, it says like, not many left. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, get it now. I have to buy it. And so I bought this brand new from Sal McCartney and I'm so excited. It's so warm, which is it's like so not cute. good yet because it's still 80s here. It's very hot, unfortunately. Whatever. Okay, so let's jump into the Moschino stuff real quick. But before I do that, there are two things that are missing because they're at Debbie's house. <laughs> so first up, one thing I got myself this fall, which I've talked about a lot as well, is my Rails flannel. And oh. I'll add a picture here if I have a picture of me in it. It's just a red and black Rails flannel. I suggest Rails with all of my being. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. You can mm -hmm. sleep in it. You can wear it out. You can look good. You can look lazy. You can look like it's just it's you perfect. You can look like a bum. Perfect. They're amazingly so soft. Soft flannels. I yes. will say. Then I also goes with these. I purchased a Moschino 2020 Resort. I was gonna say, wasn't that 2020 Resort? Vampire Bear Halloween T-shirt, which I will put a picture here because I for sure have one. But this I bought as well along with some of these items. I was gonna say, so, I feel like it's safe to say all this is gonna be Halloween. Moschino last year for their resort collection had a trick-or-treating style Halloween runway. Oh, Talk I think about... I watched it, just... <clears throat> It's like a 25-30 minute show beginning to Talk end. Talk about it's amazing. a summary of my internal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Moschino Halloween. <laughs> Favorite brand? If you guys Favorite are interested, holiday. we kind of want to do like a reaction to the runway video at some point because <gasps> it just, it sends me somewhere. Like that video, it's, it's mind-blowing. Really oh, Honestly, it's, the production, it's insane. the way it's set up. Anyway. But I purchased this from a, this is the first piece from that collection that I bought. This was from a Style Encore near us in Minnesota. So good. I drove like 50 minutes to buy this because I had to have it. They priced this at 165, I believe. It is, this is the print that's on the t-shirt. It is the bat vampire bear. And on the back, it has the Moschino Halloween logo. <sighs> it can be a crossbody if you can see these hooks on both sides, but I use it as a wallet. It's called like the wallet crossbody, whatever. And it is just perfect. It's amazing. And it's kind of a gateway drug because this made me purchase that t-shirt that you just saw. And it also made me purchase these. Oops. So, let's get into it. First up is the matching mini backpack. I will say, his, I do believe, is a bit... It's from the same a, person. Oh, it's the same size. They're the exact same size. The oh, same yeah. person sold us these. I found this first, and then I noticed there was a good deal on that, and so I was like, like, Ryan. And then he bought it. I snatched it. But, oh my gosh, so <sighs> cute, so so I haven't even posted it anywhere because I, I don't need anyone to judge me that I bought two Moschino pieces. What's in it? Is, like a, is it a keychain or is it a key? Or a ring. But yeah, this is exactly obviously a match with the backpack and the wallet. It doesn't fit in, but it's a match. That's and it's fine. super tiny, so I'm, unfortunately, like, 
it has to go to like places where I don't need to use my backpack much. Mm -hmm. But on places where I do want to be able to use my backpack more often. Oh, you didn't zip in. This one I spent kind of a pretty penny on. She was expensive, but that's fine. So I purchased the last one of these from the Moschino website, which tells you how much I spent on it because it's from the Moschino website. So this is the Moschino Couture Ghost Backpack from the Halloween 2020 Resort Collection. It is so cute. It's so extra and so like, who would wear that? It's so me. like, why would you I spend would, it more than $10 on this? I would it's wear like, that. Oh, it's, <laughs> we did. it is so <laughs> nice. It makes me a little nervous because it's white and like I beat my backpacks around. I will but say, yes. It's, ghosts are my favorite Halloween like character. Oh. And like, this is just so cute. And it's Moschino, which is my favorite brand. And it's Halloween. Like, mm -hmm. I couldn't. There's, not there isn't own a this. reason to say no. And things like this that are like limited edition and weird just go up in value. They so if for some reason I ever wanted to get rid of it, I will yeah. get more than I spent on it. Especially with Moschino. Oh, yeah. Jeremy Scott is one of those designers where he builds really funky pieces into his collections that just go up inherent in like the minute the collection is released it's, not it's worth the item is worth more than its retail value yeah it's just one of those things it's insane mm -hmm. it's insane okay and to finish my little collection first of all being another sweater but again i have been wanting this not this exact sweater but this sweater for years this is a lazy oaf sweater we mentioned lazy oaf the in dolls kill. the dolls kill and i i'm almost positive i've talked about it before it is the pink and red life is hard cardigan oh did i pay up for this the answer is yes so okay when i was talking about in the dolls kill video that the quirky lazy oaf stuff is worth money i paid 115 dollars for this and that was a deal these usually sell for like upwards of 250 mm-hmm Expensive. It gives me such, expensive. It gives me such like Valentine's Day vibes. It kind of it. It came out of a um, a collection that was a lot of like hearts. Mm. It was like a lot of like little pink and red like hearts and stuff on it. But I remember I saw this sweater on their Instagram in like 2015 in high school, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that. Cut to now. She's sitting right in front of me. Okay, so this is <laughs> not designer, but I love it. Brand is Simply B. Made in Pakistan, never heard of it. Size women's 22, but it's a corduroy jacket. I have always wanted a corduroy jacket. I have a corduroy blazer that I just purchased and I'm very excited about it, but I love the jacket. I think it's so cute. And I think it's really good as just like plain. Like it'll look good with like anything. This is again, this is the newer, newest Unif tag. And this is called the Sunflower Cardigan. Oh, it's not buttoned right. This is so cute. But this I love. I am like, obsessed this looks with this cardigan this is one that i can tell here we go once it's sold out on the website it'll be worth a they lot they sell for 150 and they only yeah. retail for 100 bucks and it'll just go up i actually. love how it says unif kind of in the sunflower and they're on the back I think it's called the Bria cardigan, if I'm not mistaken, on the Unif website because they always is it give. Still available. Yes, it is. Okay, so if they... you want one, you can still go get one. <laughs> They're ninety eight dollars. Have fun. I love it, and I was debating whether or not I wanted to buy it or whether or not I wanted to find somebody else who had it after they sold out. But like, they had a student discount, and I said sold. Okay, so this is a thrift store find. If you're like, oh my god, Ryan, you found a Patagonia at the thrift store? I wish. <laughs> this is Columbia. It is a unisex xl it's i love this because it okay so i have a cinchilla that i will never ever ever part with it's one of my favorite things i've owned in my entire life i love this because it has two front pockets on it as well as like the full length zipper so i don't have to like mess my hair up or like my airpod pops out when i take my jacket off when i get hot and i love the pattern and it's so soft it's, cute. it's so soft I remember right when he showed it to me, I was like, oh, what's this? I was like, and I was like, Columbia. I was like, that's mine. So next, I think this has been in an Instagram picture, if I'm not mistaken. And it's Urban Outfitters, regular old, good old Urban Outfitters, size large. Oh, I do not remember the name of this sweater at all, but I love it. I can't get over it. I love the colors. It's so cute and it's so soft. I love it. I am the one where I'm like, oh, let me wear a good old plain pair of jeans, a good old basic pair of shoes, and a fun sweater. 
That's a good look for me. Okay, so this is Lululemon. I ripped the tag out of all my Lululemon because I hate them. They're annoying. I do not. The tags frustrate me. I love the colors. I feel like I don't own a ton of like this yellow, which I own a lot of yellow. But I love it. And the only place it says Lulu is the little um, tag on the bottom. I bought this one in the outlet in Chicago. They were 20 bucks. I love it. It's actually really soft. And one of my favorite, favorite, favorite details about this that I kind of wish <laughs> every final had was this pocket is zipper. Like it has a zipper. So if you like have like my ID, you could like zip it. Oh. <gasps> I love it. Okay, and I have one more sweater and I bought this from my dear friend Denali, <laughs> El Ducho. I love her. Mm -hmm. She did one of her infamous palette unboxings one night and me and Jack were like, ha ha, let's see what she's up to. Oh my gosh, we watched that for like three hours. It was fun. I will say <laughs> some of the things she finds in those oh my is gosh, wild. insane. And she had this sweater and she's like, mm-hmm, trash. I was like, <gasps> like Denali, what's that sweater? So she found one that had a flaw in it and was like, 20 bucks, what's your address? So I was like, here's my $20. I love you forever. Here's my address. And I bought this from her. And I am obsessed with this. So I, because I am a person that needs to use my hands a lot when I work, I, th I have yarn that's this color and I thread it in the sleeve and I tie it off. So it's like, so it doesn't get like as baggy and as like big. But this is a free people cardigan in a size XL, which is a rarity of its own, Yeah, honestly. But the big issue, if you can see it right here, is there was a, like a snag. Hmm. And I said, I'm gonna tie that off and throw it on and call it a day. I love this. The button is in the front and it buttons to the like other side of the cardigan. There's pockets, which is always a plus. Are there pockets on this one? I don't think so. I lied, there's no pockets. It's so soft, one of my favorites. I love it, and that's it. And that is all that we have for you guys <laughs> today. So. I can talk about the things I purchased for decades. Yeah, I was gonna is say. Is what I learned watch, from this experience. Watch how like a haul of our own things takes longer than a haul of <laughs> things to sell because we just have so much to many. say about it. <laughs> I think um, I'm just so drawn to the things I buy myself. Same here. I just love them. So yeah. if you made it this far, thank you guys for thank watching you. the video. Please, please, please let us know your favorite thing that you <gasps> splurged on for yourself yes. this fall. Is it a flannel? A I'm sweater? sure we have a lot more Pardon? splurging to come, even though we shouldn't, but probably going That's to. That's okay. Actually, our plan for tonight is to splurge on Mike fall shopping. We're going to get him yeah. some fall clothes. We're going to get him so some new clothes. <laughs> maybe Mike will have to do like a fashion show at some point. Because we're those Anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, let us know what your favorite thing is that you splurge on yourself for fall. And also be sure to check out tomorrow's second channel video of our fall decor that we have in our house that we oh, would like to show you. I'm so excited. And thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for what's on Saturday, this Saturday, or we're tomorrow's sure video, in. whatever you choose to watch. And we Please will come to see both. you <laughs> on one of those two. Either tomorrow or Saturday. Bye. Goodbye.